Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install and configure Redis for WordPress. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, let's go ahead and get right on into the tutorial here. I have a very basic WordPress website um, running at this IP address, and if you have a domain name, that's even better. Um, but what I'm gonna do is first log into the server, which is hosting this, I, this uh, website. Uh, which is at this IP address, and we're gonna log in via SSH. So let's do that, and when we're on here, we can go ahead and install Redis, which is done with an apt get install Redis. And that's gonna just take up 4,000 kilobytes of space. And when that's finished, let's just check that Redis, the Redis server is up and running. We can do that with system CTL status Redis. And we'll see that uh, Redis is active and running, and it is using uh, the IP address, the local the local host IP address, 127.0.0.1, and it's running at the default port 6379. So that takes care of the backend portion of Redis. It's installed and running on the same server as our WordPress website. Let's go ahead into our WordPress website and go into our admin dashboard. And in the plugin section, we want to add a new plugin. <clears throat> and in here, we want to install the Redis plugin. So just type in Redis. And this is going to, uh, we want this Redis object cache by till cross. And uh, we want to install that. And this is going to allow us to connect our WordPress website to the Redis server that's running on um, our same web server. So install and activate that. Go into settings. And um, if we're using the default settings, all we have to do is simply enable object cache, and that should make that connection for us. So let's click on that, and it does, so we're connected. Again, we're using the localhost IP address and the default port 6379. Um, that's great, so that's really all you have to do. Let's just verify that it's working, and we can do that. Just make this a uh, little bit smaller. Um, Let's get out of here, and I want to show you, um, uh, we can use the Redis command line interface, which is Redis-CLI, to look at all of our keys. So if we type keys and then star, these are all of our keys that we have so far for Redis. And um, it's quite a few, uh, but as we go through, some of these might expire. As we go through from page to page on our website, we'll get more keys. Um, and we'll just see this list grow. So let's go ahead and just pop around our website. Loading the home page should uh, change this list by default. So let's list our keys again. And now we have 35 keys. Um, let's see if any of these uh, we can understand. So we have this posts key here, posts three. Let's see what the value of that is. So if you just copy this, maybe with the quotes too, um, we can do, whoops, we can do get and then the name of the key. And this is the value of that key. So you're seeing whatever we're looking at here. Um, let's see if we can find anything talking about Gravatar services, created emails, uh, why we collect it. Um, this is this is HTML content that we're looking at that has been cached into uh, the Redis backend when we loaded that page. Um, that's what each one of these keys means. And if you want to go, I, I won't go into it too much here. I, <laughs> um, there's, I have a whole video about how to, uh, you know, go under the hood and look at what's actually happening as far as the key value pairs are concerned. So check that out if you want to learn more about that. Um, that's about it for this video. You're all good to go set up and running with WordPress and Redis. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.